Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting Video Fort tutorial. This is Video Fort Brendan. Today I'm going to show you how to stabilize shaky footage with one of my favorite tools, Warp Stabilizer. For this tutorial, I found a shot on videoblocks.com, which is a stock footage website that I, I use a lot. I chose it because it's a pretty shaky shot and there's a lot going on and it's something that could use a little stabilizer because it was shot handheld. So let's go ahead and watch the shot. As you can see, there's a lot of shaking going on. And I just want to smooth out that shaking a little bit. Premiere Pro has a great tool called Warp Stabilizer. It analyzes the shake of the footage, the movement of the footage. It tries to smooth out the footage as, as best as it can. So if you type in Warp or if you go to Video Effects and look under Distort, there's Warp Stabilizer. And it's just like any other tool, any other effect, you just click it and drag it over. It's going to analyze the clip, each frame. Go up to Effects Control, you can actually see it analyzing and all the different settings you can choose for it. I'm going to skip ahead 20 seconds. Alright, so it's now analyzed and stabilized the footage based on these current settings. So let's go ahead and watch it again. So as you can see, there's a lot less shake. But if you look closely, there's a little bit of a weird kind of wobble thing going on right here. You can see it a little bit over on, in here too. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So within the settings, there's a few different things. There's smooth motion or no motion. For this shot, no motion wouldn't really work because it's not just shaky, it's also moving where the actual camera is. So I'm going to stay in smooth motion. Smoothness is how much you want it to smooth it out. Sometimes if it's too smooth, I'll go down to like 10 or 5% and it still does, I mean even at 1%, it still does a really good job. <clears throat> I'm going to stay at 50. And then there's method. Changing this setting is what will help you get rid of that jello effect. So right now, by default, it's on subspace warp. And what this does is Premiere looks at the shot. Premiere tries to actually adjust the specific parts of the shot so that it doesn't have that jello effect. Sometimes it gives it less jello, sometimes it gives it more jello effect. Um, but when there is that jello effect, generally I will change it to the position method of stabilization. Position actually goes in and moves the shot around with the movement of within the shot. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to position. It's going to re-stabilize. And let's watch that. So as you can see, we kind of got rid of that jello effect. But now the shot's a little bit shakier. But I'd prefer it like this. So now it's still pretty shaky, but if you look at it with and without the stabilizer, it's a pretty big difference. There's a few different settings you can do. Uh, I generally just leave these settings where they are. The two settings you're really going to mess around with the most are the method and the actual amount of smoothness. This is one of my favorite tools. It's definitely saved me a bunch of times, and I use it on pretty much every project that I edit. Anyway, thanks for watching another exciting video for tutorial. Check back in next week for more helpful tips and tricks. Thanks again.